How y'all doing this morning? If you are not familiar with the show, my name is David Johnson, owner of Grovey's Barbecue Accessories, and this is Feast with the Beast. So, we had a chop challenge, and um, it had uh, special ingredients that I do not have written down, but it's uh, halloumi cheese, hamburger, Read them off to me. It's ground meat, not hamburger. Oh, ground meat. Oh, ground meat. See, I didn't Zucchini. Know. Zucchini. Uh, white wine. White wine. Dry white wine. Dry and wine. um. Tomatoes? No. no. I don't know. We have everything. Yeah, we have it, though. Um, it's going in our dish. And Todd Kern and Chad Keller won that round. Okay, so they moved on to Michael. our next round. And... um. I'm supposed to have a whiteboard right here that says all this stuff. Right, that's why I need to drink. Somebody didn't do all that, no. which wasn't me. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> but that's cool. It's no big deal. Um, we don't have to be perfect here. That's why we do it live. Um, so look, we are doing a zucchini baba canoush, a grilled Greek salad, and kafta. I said it right? You did. Kafta. Very I've good. never made any of these things. <laughs> so... This is the first time. But what I did do, and this might interest some who have a barrel house cooker, is um, normally the coals are down here. But what I did is um, I put a grate here and I put the basket here. And so the coals are right here. So see, we're grilling our zucchini. For the baba ganoush. For the baba ganoush. Woo! Hot. Where's your, um, yeah. what All you right. call it? Your so it's coming along pretty purpose. nice. Pretty nice. Here, let me grab these tongs for a second. All right. I'm going to move these around. So the reason I put these on ahead of time because they take um, like almost 30 minutes. And um, we want to make sure they're done. But they are very, very close. Well, I say very close. I just flipped them. Yes. Around. So, they've been on about what 15 minutes? Yeah, they've been on a good 15. All right, so we got about 10 more minutes to go. Yeah, some of them have got more than that. Because what happened, because we had the zucchini in the fridge, so when I put them on the heat, they started condensating and they started trying to put my fire out. But it didn't work. My fire won. Okay, <laughs> so what we have to do is um, as soon as that gets done, we're gonna slice them in half, scoop out the inside, and we're gonna blend it up with some other stuff that uh, I'll go over in a minute. But what we do need is a marinade for our salad part, okay? Because our salad is gonna be grilled, and we're gonna use a beef and pepper, okay? And we're only gonna do, we're not gonna do the full bunch because it's enough to do at least six skewers each of everything. We're gonna do three of the salad, three of the, the coffee. So, in our marinade, we have... We moved tops. <laughs> he says a big difference from the 2016 outdoor kitchen. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, pops, let's say, right. Pops right. Pops right. Okay, so what we have here so he's looking at a video from 2016, he said. Oh, uh, yeah, that was when we were still in New Orleans. We moved uh, to Covington in the end of September of 2017, and uh, this is the new kitchen. So, here it is. I like it a lot better. All right, so I am reading off of my instructions here, just so I don't screw it up. So, you have um, one and a half lemons, okay? I don't care about seeds being in there. All right, you squeeze those. Make sure whenever you do the lemons or limes, I don't have my gloves on either, but it'll be all right. Make sure you roll them really good, okay? Because if not, you won't get all the juice out of them. Did you, this is going to be the marinade for the... Yeah, this is going to be the marinade for the uh, Greek salad, okay? Actually, I do want to take some... There's a lot of seeds in there. Yeah. 
live TV, folks. <laughs> if it was only a, if it was only a couple seeds, I wouldn't have worried about it. But it was a there's a lot of seeds. And and you also use that to drizzle over your salad when it's done. So yeah, so you we'll don't want seeds that. falling in there. All right. There you go. I got the seed. All right. So now we're gonna do five tablespoons of our white wine. A heavy five. <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> the most important ingredient. All right. A half a cup of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. <laughs> uh oh. There's a little pull thing. <laughs> you. Put some muscle into it. Oh, it's just a fresh bottle. Yep. Should have did that before. <laughs> All right, a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. All the ingredients and everything will be listed on the website later on today. All right, uh, we've got a quarter cup of oregano and two tablespoons of thyme. Oregano. It's all fresh and time. We just picked it. We just picked right. it. <laughs> the girls just picked it. Yes. All right. <laughs> um, we want a half of a a half of a medium onion. All right. Now it says there just quarter it, but I'm gonna Yeah, do that. Alright, some salt and pepper. I'm almost out of my uh regular black pepper, but Good morning, Rick. Don't forget to share. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How can I forget? <laughs> I do. Uh, so yeah, if you're watching this, uh, please hit the share button and the like button so Facebook will help share this to other people. We can get more people on the show. All right, so really, that is pretty much it. And so all I'm gonna do is blend this up. Andy Buffington said, hey Dave. How you doing? this That's what happens when you put lemons in it right <laughs> <laughs> all right so I'm gonna take and top these and quarter them okay When we're quiet, the birds will keep company with you. <laughs> right. Does anybody have any questions so about anything? So concentrated this morning. I know. I feel like this is the quietest we've ever been. <laughs> right. I need some talking. All right. So. If anybody has any questions, bring them on.
Usually we prep everything, but we figured making the marinade, we'd do it live. Well, and prepping everything kind of makes us run behind schedule. Right. So I'd rather be on here doing this and be on time, or at least close to it, than uh, be late. Be late. Right. Rick wants to know if you're grilling the tomatoes. Grilling everything, yes. Going in the marinade first and then on the grill. Yep, so we're gonna throw this in the marinade real quick. And then, um. <laughs> Michael Meisner said, Where is the liquid smoke? <laughs> You'll never live that down, dude. You will never live that down. Actually, let me go get the liquid smoke. <laughs> <laughs> to good in the marinade. My last son, fucker. <laughs> you can Bennett. say whatever you want. This is your show. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Bennett wants to know what's cooking he just got on. All right, so we're doing a zucchini baba canoush, a <laughs> Greek grilled salad, and a kafta. So I have we're zucchini. Mediterranean today? Yeah, we're doing, we're going to the Mediterranean yeah. today. All right, we visited the Mediterranean today. So like this one is, whoo, that one's about done. This one's got a little bit to go. Let me switch some of this around. Yeah. Let me go there. My fire's not even. All right, so we had to put the zucchini on. If you're just coming on, we had to put the zucchini on before we started the show because it takes 20, 30 minutes to soften that up to where we can scoop the insides out. Um, we just made the marinade for the Greek salad and uh, that had uh, lemon, extra virgin olive oil, oregano, thyme, um, uh, a half of a yellow onion and salt and pepper and some dry white wine. So now we're gonna throw all this into a bowl. Enough Break these onions up a little bit. Don't forget the cheese. Yep. <laughs> The halloumi cheese is it was one of the a required ingredients. So. What? what? Right. Oh, I hope the birds like onions. I'm feeding birds. Oh, keep the vampires <laughs> away. Um, Vicky, the wine like, we used was a it's a Rodney Strong uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Just, uh, Sauvignon Blanc is generally your driest wine. Now, what about halloumi cheese? Yeah. It doesn't what? It doesn't. It doesn't melt. It doesn't melt. It does not melt. <laughs> One more time. It doesn't melt. Halloumi cheese. Halloumi cheese doesn't melt. <laughs> and it doesn't melt either. It does break halfway through, so I need to cut it. All right. There you go. So, throw everything in. All right. Now we kind of thought we'd have a little bit of this left over. But I don't know. You can. You could still use it at the bowl. I mean, it's just vegetables in there, so. Didn't sound appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you rinse this out real quick? I need it again. All right, well, I need to rinse my hands. Hold up. All right, so. Entertain. <laughs> right. <laughs> Get in and do a dance. <laughs> yeah, I'm back in the chair. I had to rinse my hands real quick. That's what I get for not using my gloves. So I'm gonna take and mix that up. That way it can Mark sit. Mark Lewandowski said it looks just like queso fresco. All right, how you doing, Mark? All right. Rick, we're out of vodka. He wants to know where's the Bloody Mary. 
I know. Oh, I the did, cheese. Yes, I, I, you're I right. Not, I did not get the vodka. So, uh, so I'm drinking wine. Actually, this is good. Yeah, I know plenty left over. So what we're doing, we're marinating the vegetables in this marinade. And then um, what we're actually going to do, which you would not do if this was you meat. You will, Daniel. You will. Is um, we're going to actually save the marinade. And we're going to drizzle it on after we're finished. Okay? Which, like I said, if it's meat, you can't do that. But this is vegetables. There's no problem. All right. So what are we doing next? We need to. How's your zucchini coming? Yeah, we need to check on that. Tell you what, that's pretty soft. Mm. If it's soft enough to scoop it. Mm. I'll put this over here. And there goes the fire. I was like, where's the fire? So this one. You need a platter? I know it's more than ready. Alright, so I'm gonna let them go just a little bit more and um We'll just take them out one at a time. All right. Don't, yeah. So. You got the colander. Yep. Tools needed. There you go. Just gonna cut this bad boy in half. Hey, Phil. And now. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Man, it smells that really smells good. That smells really good. Can y'all, somebody oh, made a comment he couldn't smell anything, but. Oh my God. Once this got cut. This is, it, this smells amazing. That is. So you scoop all this out. Wow. That's the way you do it. <laughs> right? That smells good. I could eat it like that. I know. Right, so you got to scoop all these out. Here you it go. <laughs> so you put Dan, it. Do you smell it now? So see, we're putting it in here so the water gets out of it and kind of drains through. That's so it's not too That's kind of any squash or eggplant or anything you do. Kind of got to. We need like some front people, like on the side cutting stuff and No. Does anybody have any questions? Is anybody growing anything today? Yeah, what's everybody else doing today? We always wanna know what's on the grill. The birds are out. I know the birds. <laughs> the birds are very active. The birds. <laughs> the birds smell the, birds the food. Are. Yeah, right, right. Have you heard? <laughs> uh, pork belly candy. Ringaloozle. Send us a photo of that. Yeah, send a photo. Post it in the group. Chaz is making Dave's famous meatballs. Hell yeah. What? Oh, you really? <laughs> send us a photo of that Dude, too. Yeah, definitely Dude, send a photo. You will not be disappointed. I don't know if you've made them before. They're they good. are freaking awesome. They are awesome. I'm telling you, um, even my kids, they've had meatballs from fancy restaurants everywhere, all this great stuff. 
and, I, and they're not being nice. <laughs> My meatballs are freaking awesome, dude. They are. They really are good. Yes. I've had Fred Bowling is making ribeyes. Pat Wright said use an ice cream scoop for the zucchini. And Phil Gamboa is doing whole chickens in the barrel house. You don't like my scooper? <laughs> Benjamin <laughs> Hall, pizza in the pizza oven. Chad, Chad Keller is doing some chops on the grill and watching a Daytona 500. All right. Or Diane, beef stew in the cast iron. Mm -hmm. Man, don't you love stews and chilies and all that in the cast iron? It makes it so much better. <laughs> Marcus Moore, Marcus Moore is going to the gun range. <laughs> Wendy does freaking fantastic stews and soups and dude, her red beans and rice are like the freaking best. I mean, chili wait. is like the freaking best. Her chicken and dumplings, fucking awesome, dude. I'm telling you. David's a griller and I'm a I'm a stewer. <laughs> oh yeah, she stews some shit all the time. <laughs> uh, I'll have you know that I made those red beans and rice last night. I usually I like to get up on a weekend and start them early and make a yes. a morning of it. Excited. We else? probably ought to do a show with red beans and rice. Probably. Do you want to do your chili on the show? I could, but I don't know what's going to go on the grill. That's kind of a joke. Oh, I know. <laughs> hey, I could do the red beans and rice because I could grill the sausage. Mm -hmm. Well, so, right, you can grill the sausage. I, can I give a tip for when you're um, putting stuff in the colander? And this is a tip I learned when I was going to lower yeah. my cholesterol. Well, and, I don't know if I'll listen. Well, you, the audience can listen. Um, so, if you cut up eggplant, you need to drain it. Like if you're using it, I've used it in meat, in a, um, not a meat sauce, spaghetti sauce. Instead of meat, done it with eggplant and mushrooms. No, so good. Y'all ate it. You ate it, and so did you, Ace, remember? Mm -hmm. and, oh, I didn't sounds eat it. Good. Yes, you did eat it. You ate it twice. Yeah, that's true. Anyway... Sorry. So if you cut up your um, eggplant and salt and pepper it real good and put it in a colander and then fill a um, a gallon bag, like a Ziploc of water, and put it on top for about 20 minutes, it pushes all that moisture out of it. You can do that with your hands. <sighs> and get a bunch of mush. <laughs> and what you're blending it up anyway. I got it. No, not for, the, uh, not not like for my it. spaghetti, not, thank I'm you. I know. But look, if you have a barrel house, come here, show this. Because now you can really see the fire. Yeah, the fire. And say it... you, you want to do the, uh, you know how you can do the hibachi thing? Well, you can also do it this way. So you can just throw your, uh, your coal basket up to the second level there. You can do hot hamburgers, you can do hot dogs, you can do all kinds of stuff that you would use a regular grill for. So that's kind of why I did that. With this this time, and we might even use that. To Did you light the vegetables. Weber, or you just like let the? No, the Weber's good too. Okay. So I'm 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 using both. All right. Because the skewers need to be done on the Weber. Right. Okay. So. Okay. Bad boy, the hot. All right. And so. I noticed the ones that have the more char, the better they smell. Yeah. So one of these didn't have, see like this one didn't have much char on it. And it was harder to scoop out and it didn't smell as good. Now these, see how the char is? They smell freaking amazing. They really do. And they're soft. Actually. They are very soft. So, nice. so I could have left a couple of these a little bit longer, but we really didn't have time to wait. I'm an impatient man. <laughs> <laughs> True no. words have never been said right. Right. on this no, show. Not true. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> what they really don't realize is I'm actually being very patient all the time. Um, so... They think I'm rushing them, but really I thought they should have had shit done like a day <laughs> earlier or something. Man, that smells good. It smells really it does, good. Man. That is going to be some good. Usually baba ganoush is made with eggplant, but we're going to do it with zucchini today. Oh, did... um. 
I know, I'm wiping my nose. Oh. Can't help it. It's better than snot running down on my food. <laughs> That's a special ingredient for the next right. round. That's so, going to be the required ingredient. So I don't know if time. everybody had a chance to go look at the mashup that Ace did of um, Chad's and um, Todd. Todd's. And if you did, you would see why they won, right? And it wasn't quite the process of getting there, although the process that they showed showed that they actually did the work. It was the end result. And if you looked at the end result, they were like restaurant quality um, plates, right? Um, We're going to try to plate up today to be restaurant quality. Hey, I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, He's a cooker, not a plater. A griller, I should say, right. not a cooker. Well, it's all the same. It is. The grill is just a tool. Correct. Touche. All right, one more one more so it's got a little bit of work to it really it's not that much work it's not we're just on the show so it seems like it's right taking longer but it's actually pretty easy holy schmoles all right let me uh oh chad Keller said thanks for the kind words dave no i'm telling you man that was awesome. And I, and agree I want, with, with, and Chad, I want the recipe to everything you did. <laughs> so here's the thing. On this last round, I'm not judging it. None of us are. Right. I'm having somebody else judge it. Okay? Because that way, there's no way I can be biased in any way or anybody else can be biased. Um, it's going to be somebody who doesn't know anything about the group other than... I'm, Might be Gavin Joe. I'm going to try. I'm yeah. going to ask Gavin if he wants to take the time to do it. I think he would have um, been. I know he's a busy dude, so um, um, we'll see. We're going to actually I, maybe go by and visit him today. You could put that on the side. and. Yeah, I know. I'm just giving it some press. Giving it a little help. As if, as if I had water on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using your... I'm using your... Uh, my... I would, not my method. Just the... Um, what do you right. call it? The general right, idea so look, of it. You can see here. Look. Look at all the juice that's already come out of it, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So we're going to let that sit. Now, this is... Um, it's got marinated about 15 minutes. Yeah, so we're going to spin that around a little you bit. You can leave it longer, but for our purpose on the show, we're going to do 15 yeah. minutes. All right, so... All right, you want us to take those zucchini? Where do all these things get used at? Oh, the at olives. the end, right. yeah. Let me get rid of the this The birds shit. don't want that for sure. Why not? <laughs> they should be thankful to get anything. Don't you dare throw that in the yard. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw everything out there. If it can't be used, it goes in the yard. It's compost. <laughs> we'll All get right. a compost bin then. We need to make no, a compost No, because that's bin. just a pain in the ass. <laughs> it kind of is to start, but... All right, so what are we doing next? I need to mix this up. The kafta. Am I pronouncing that right? Kafta, kafta. yes. You can do your meat for the... Um, How for many the, people do it all on there? Uh, 88 right now. Nice. All right, cool. I need to... Uh, I need to have a sip. I'm almost out of gloves. Good morning, I'm going to bare hands. I just don't want to hear anybody shit about it. Yeah, I mean we're not we're not serving anybody but right. us. So. Right. Serving ourselves. Right. <laughs> we're self serving. Serve yourselves. <laughs> right. No, I'm serving you guys by showing this, but we're serving ourselves the food. Right. Okay, so we have what's the damn hamburger? In the plate oh in the bowl I left it inside. Oh. It's on the uh, counter. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we could have put it in the refrigerator right here. That's all right. All right, so we got a, a pound and a half a hamburger. We need a, a medium. The presentation. Ta -da. A medium onion. <laughs> I can just use this onion, right? Because sure. this is just saying a regular onion. Y'all, y'all will get the ingredients. Um, I'm just using this one, and it's not. Um, it's not a whole onion, but it's a big onion. And this recipe doesn't call for this. I'm gonna grate up, grate up. I'm gonna chop this sucker up as fine as I can in a short amount of time. 
Phil, he's got a glass of wine because we, somebody, not me, forgot to get vodka. <laughs> We're all throwing each other under the bus. <laughs> That's right. Today is the throw under the bus episode. <laughs> a feast with the beast. <laughs> Mark Corbin said, finally some meat. I'm getting tired of all this vegetable stuff going on. Hey, you know, I know we say this, right? But sometimes you do have people that come over that don't want any freaking meat. I know it's crazy. That's true. It's like crazy. That is insane. And, you you can, should, you should but, and they deserve good grilled food yeah. too. Right. So you can, um, you can, uh, you know, serve them too, right? Okay. You like how I just throw shit around? <laughs> All right. So, 30, uh, I don't think this bowl is going to be big enough to mix this in. Well, I know you said you had another bowl to mix it when I asked did I? you. Yep. You did. I don't know. I have something somewhere. There's a, um. Um, okay. Yeah, I have I a couple of parsley. This is, I wish we would have cut this up ahead of time. Well, half a cup's not going to take you that long to cut up. Right. Probably. That's the great thing about half a cup. No, it's just this shit's a pain in the ass to cut, that's all. It's a lot of parsley. We only need half a cup. That's more than half a cup right there. Why are you cutting it all up? Chop it up. Rich is going to grill something today, but he does not know what. This isn't going to be like the presentation of it, but it's big enough to mix that meat. So we're going to go with that for a minute. Half a cup. Dude, that's the perfect amount. It's like my eyes are their own measuring cup. It's all Italian colors in there. <laughs> kind of like me pouring wine. Yeah. Italian colors in there. Italian colors? Yeah. Oh, and oh. <laughs> right. Right, okay. So then we have a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Pat Wright said you have such talent. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. Not as much as me being able to pour wine blindfold and get exactly the same That's, amount. That is true. <laughs> Wendy can what? go to three different glasses in three different rooms, pour the wine, and they will be exactly the same amount. We need to do that. I don't know how the hell she does it. We need I to really do that don't. on the live show. <laughs> I've tried to do it. I'm like, I can't do that shit. He didn't believe me, so I had to blindfold myself one time and pour right, the blindfold. She did that, right, she blindfolded herself and poured the wine. And it was... <laughs> All right, so look, I just put a quarter, uh, te uh, quarter teaspoon of cayenne, cayenne pepper. And I'm going to put a quarter teaspoon of allspice. And get this open. Shh. You have to make that noise. Too. Right, right. You cannot make that <laughs> recipe without So, and then we got, it says a teaspoon of salt. I don't know. It's about... That much salt. <laughs> and about. We're out of peppercorns. So. Yeah, I'm out of peppercorns, so I gotta go back to the uh, old days. <laughs> old days. McCormick. So, look, this is my last pair of gloves. <clears throat> I need to order more. Rick, Uzzel, Uzzel. is it Uzzel or Uzzel? I did not cheat. Huh? He said I cheated. I looked through the blindfold. Oh no. no, no, I'm telling you, you can put the glasses in uh, different rooms, and so they're not even close to each other. I'm telling you, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I it's mean, a, some it's of us are skill. good at, you know, different things. Right, our, our talent, we don't choose our talents. They, they choose, choose us. us. <laughs> That's right. I'm sure trying to figure out mine. Yours is cutting up stuff and getting it perfect. I am, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a good cut man. I am, I am that. That's a lot of stuff for this little bit of hamburger. Ooh, that's a lot of flavor is what you meant to say. 
That's true. <laughs> I do have a little bit. You want to add a little bit more burger to it? There's a little bit left in there. And also, you you cut up those onions really big, and they're supposed to be finely chopped. Oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, give me the rest of the hamburger. Can you grab it? It's in a little bag in the refrigerator. We don't need to put an egg in here or nothing? Nope. All right, we are almost about ready to get busy. Meat. <laughs> Incoming meat. <laughs> <laughs> so we do that all the time. Oh my God. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. The only difference is, is really, the <laughs> recipe calls for, um, I'm supposed to grate the onions. I'm, gonna, I'm not grating onions. They already are great. Yeah, they're great just like they are. <laughs> I gotta tell you what Harvey Ponder just said. He said, I, I bet you and I can drink, I bet you I can drink the same amount of beer blindfolded every time. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny shit. <laughs> All right, the only thing we're afraid of is these onions. Well, you chose to chop them that big. All right, I don't care. So. All right, so we're going to make... Actually, that's something we could. So. You know what? Can you grab a cookie sheet? You know where they're at? Grab oh. the, uh, the, the, the metal. During the, clo the closet, look up and to the right. Grab the biggest ones, two, both of them. So we make That's balls a little bit so big. Can... Yeah, let's do the balls, but do them half that size. Well, they got to go in the skewers. They got to be, well, you can, right, do them about the size of your meatballs. So, here's, uh, so, because, right, with coffee, right, you can it. elongate it, or you can do it. balls. Well, then do we need them skewers? Yeah. Or can we, we can just put them on the freaking grill for just doing them you balls. You could, sure. That's going to take 20 minutes. All right, cook. yeah, go ahead, just you know that, right? do that. What's going to take 20 minutes? These. What? Oh, you don't have it. What? It's about. I know 15. how long it takes to cook a ball. Oh, you got the meat. You got the grill high over high heat. Yes. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Oh. This doesn't go over. <laughs> I mean, we can actually. Actually, I can speed it up. I can speed it up. Usually, like a meatball, I do indirect, and it takes about 20, 30 minutes, depending. But we'll. Phil Gumbo said he's walking around the grocery store with Becky listening to your live feed and people are looking at him like he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to tune in. Right. Right, share. <laughs> right, share. Again, if you have not shared this feed, please share it. We want to have many, many people viewing. Right. We like new friends. We do. All right. All right, I'm going to do a few more of these so we can get them on the grill. Yeah. Because, right, because while I'm doing this, while those are cooking, then I'm skewering up that stuff. So that's cool. That Have works. a good day, Jeff. Jeff said he's got to go back to work. He wish he could watch. Oh, man. All right, right, Jeff. Thanks for viewing, man. So, really, we were going to skewer the meat, uh, but there's no need to. We're going to skewer the vegetables, though. The, what actually the problem is because I um, I chose to just chop the onions instead of grate <laughs> them finely and it really it, because they're so big it's gonna mess up how they they, they won't hold on to the skewer so but I think they're gonna be better with the chopped onions rather than the grated I like onion and I like the taste Ben do you need us to tell you what we're making again all right so <laughs> if you are just Tuning in, we're doing zucchini baba ganoush. We grilled the zucchini. We uh, took it off. We sliced it in half. We put the uh, guts, the guts of it, in there so the water can drain out of it. Um, we made. Uh, we're doing a Greek grilled salad, and we made a marinade that has uh, lemon juice. This was all fresh lemon juice, uh, dry white wine extra virgin olive oil, oregano, thyme, 
uh, yellow onion, salt, pepper. That's what's in the marinade. The exact uh, amounts and instructions will be on our website later on today. As soon as we get done, we upload that video to YouTube and then we can put it on the website. Um, then we're doing a, uh, I gotta make sure I pronounce it right. Kafta. Yes. Kofta. 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 It doesn't sound like a Mediterranean name. Okay. I want to say Kofta. <sighs> Stop. Anyway, it's we're doing the Kofta, and that's what we're doing right now. It was supposed to have grated onion. I just it chopped it. It can be it Indian or Mediterranean, so oh. it's in a lot of Indian restaurants. Okay. All right. So it's in a lot of Indian restaurants, apparently. Um, so... That's what I'm making right now. Rich doing, Newland said he might make some of the meatballs for race day. We're doing kofta balls. Yeah. And kofta, Everybody likes kofta balls. Kofta, you can not chop your onions so big and put on a skewer. <laughs> like, you can elongate it. So a lot of times when you see it, <laughs> it's not a ball. <laughs> what? People are commenting on you wiping your nose. <laughs> you can't help it. When you got to itch, you got to itch. So, I mean, like, when you're in your own kitchen cooking for your family, you never, like, mm, do that. I mean, if you got to itch, you're going to scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're opening yourself up to so much. Right, I know. I do have gloves on. His last pair, so. I know. Uh, one of my daughters discovered these gloves. And from the day she discovered them, she wiped me out. Now, and I asked her last night. I said, "How many of my, uh, how many of my gloves did you use? Because I'm almost out." She goes, "Oh, only one pair." Every you know, day. Yeah, one <laughs> pair every ten minutes. Right. So, all right. So we got a bunch of balls, balls here. All right. <laughs> I got to get this on the grill. I wish I had one more. Right, Mark. All right, so let me get the get the ball. Here, got all this shit messed up. Nah, I'm not getting it. <sighs> you can take your balls now. <laughs> Jack Weagle still got snow in Massachusetts. It is great weather. It's breezy. It's a little overcast and probably mid 70s so right now. So since I still have uh, other stuff to do, I'm gonna put these on. And that grill is piping hot. And actually, it's about to get active, y'all. Because it's 500. Now, it, now it's coming down to the skewer. I'm going to start, I'm gonna start these off over direct heat. You better hurry up because I'm about running out of coals. Who better hurry up? <laughs> so, I think what I'm going to do, this thing's running so long. Ace comes down this side, too. Dude, they mm, smell they really smell good. good. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh my god, they already smell delicious. I hope they don't stick to the grapes too much. Get a spatula. Man. <clears throat> okay. What are you doing on there? I could have put them on here too. You could have because you got to grill the. Um, but I need to put those on indirect heat. Right. In a minute. What the uh, the meatballs? The kofta. They're not meatballs. The kofta. Oh, kofta balls. <laughs> the kofta balls. Oh yeah. Oh, they smell really good. So I'm gonna sear these. Hold on. Yes, sir. This freaking grill is hot, dude. That's what the da da be summer is for. Look at that. So after I sear these off a little bit, I'm going to throw them over to indirect heat. Ooh. This shit is hot. 
Holy smoly. Can you do that again? <laughs> Wendy says that all the time. Oh my God, dude! Yeah, what he's, the he's hell? Got a <laughs> Just got a lot of jokes today. I did. Right, he's a funny man. <laughs> <laughs> He's not just the grill beast. The funny man. <laughs> uh, Patrick Dunham said he just joined. Patrick, it's all—it's actually we're making kafta, but they, we did form them into the shape of meatballs. Right. This is this um, is called kafta balls. Kafta balls. What's in them? Can you grab that right there, please? He wants to know what, which the yeah can. Okay, here. Yeah. So, uh, so we have cheat sheets because I can't remember anything. Right. We got one and a half pounds of ground meat. We got a half. Actually, two pounds. Or... Oh, actually, yeah, that's two pounds. And then we have uh, an onion that was uh, I was supposed to grate. I didn't. I just chopped it finely. So that's why you got the big chunks of onion. Did that's not the, chop it finely. That's the way I like it. <laughs> All right. Um, we got a half a cup of chopped parsley. A quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a quarter teaspoon of allspice, salt, and pepper. And then we made balls instead of putting them on the skewer and the long dog roll thing. This was quicker. So now we have cocked the balls. So I'm just kind of searing them off a little bit. Mm, oh my God, the smell. Dude, they do. They smell amazing. Wow. So and then I'm going to take and throw them over to indirect heat. Doesn't that look good? That looks and smells good and sounds good. You want to get in there? It does. Mm -hmm. oh, crap, man. Thank you, Patrick. My fear is I'm gonna my charcoal is gonna burn out on me. Well, you bit. got left is the um, vegetables and the right. lettuce. Yeah, but these are gonna have to cook for a bit. Dan, every season is grilling season. And, uh, Rich, right. you know what you probably could use? Yeah, you probably could use ground lamb in these. No, yeah, you could do ground lamb. You could do a mixture. Or you can do sausage. <laughs> like a lot of times with my meatballs, I do 50-50. Uh, well, you, yeah, you don't do sausage and kofta. No. But you could probably oh, use lamb. Oh, right, and kofta, right, yeah. Sorry. I was talking about regular meatballs. Next time we got to form them in the log shape so we can quit referring to them as meatballs. Uh -huh. So now I'm going to throw them under here. Dude, don't they look beautiful? Yep. Wow. I amaze myself all the time. <laughs> I do. I wish we'd have made a little... What? Um, a little sauce for them, but that's all right. Do you want to take a picture of this, Ashley? Look at that. Oh, my God. Let me uncover the grill for the beef. All right, so now that we have these kind of sitting here, we will um, Dude, that is so hot. It's hot. Do you, are you just gonna brush off this uh, cutting board? You always want to get that shit cleaned off. You don't yeah, Chad, that that's nice. Stuff on your, uh, Thank everybody. Yeah, tzatziki sauce, Rick. That's what I was trying to come up with. <laughs> no, he was. I was trying to come up with the name of the sauce. I would have made, and he came up with it for me. Shut it. Shut it. All right, we're moving along. Oh, we got lots. Right. I hope the battery doesn't die. That is a hot freaking fire. We got 107 people live. Don't forget to share. Everybody share. Holy schmoles. Yeah, so if you are just hopping on or if you have not shared this uh, feed yet, please share it, share it, share it. Share it in other barbecue groups. Share it with your friends. Share it with everybody. So, All right, I want to see where this is, how this is going to work. <laughs> All right, so more, now. More bird food. Now I'm out of my gloves, so I'm going to probably hear a bunch of shit from somebody. I'm sure. I'm going to grab your paper towels. Y'all, when you make the kofta, don't cut your onions like this. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> you haven't tasted that yet. I, that's I'm true. telling you, that's going to be beautiful. <laughs> You're going to be so glad I cut the onions like that. Vincent Padabano said, hey, Dave, it's Grouchy Vin. On the oh, yeah, <laughs> Somebody's reading the newsletter. Yeah. No, I had, I had a few Did you get some time. dessert, Vince? <laughs> Did All you right. get some dessert to coffee? This is a messy, messy uh, thing going on here. All right, so we got we're right, our, Gary. We're Always. using our uh, our beast impalers. <laughs> Dude, these bad boys are freaking. Look how thick they are. If you haven't seen these bad boys, they are thick, lifetime guarantee, stainless steel. So, <clears throat> all right, let me take a drink before I get my hands dirty. Nobody opened up a bottle of wine? Yeah, you did. No, that was the leftover. Oh, no, nobody did. All right, so what you want to do with y'all, <clears throat> you just want to thread it in without stabbing yourself. Where's the romaine lettuce? So what you're gonna notice is, you see how, I don't know what your experience is with skewers, especially metal ones. These are stainless steel, by the way. But a lot of them, they split your vegetables and they fall off. So when we put these together, um, we tried different thicknesses, different sharpnesses here, to try to get the right combination so your vegetables don't split. Yeah. Okay. Harvey Pender so, said he loves them way more than the round ones. It keeps the vegetables from spinning when it. you're trying to turn them. And so, they don't split either. The only thing I'm afraid of is this cheese. It'll be all right. Uh, yes. Halloumi. Dude, that was awesome. We could probably, for the show, for the sake of, um, we could probably just do one or two skewers and one or two romaine lettuce. Right, I gotta do what I mean still. Well, that just takes a second. All right, hold on. Frank Nitro said he liked your comment on mix sauces. You want to, if you can clarify that. I'm not sure. What did I say? No, I'm, I'm asking him to clarify his uh, comment. It's on now. Yes, Pat Wright, you do need to get some beast impalers. We agree. We would not disagree with that. Right. They're awesome. We would not disagree with that. Good morning. Oh. All of our Beastly products have lifetime guarantees. Ah. Except for the t-shirts. Taryn, we're not ignoring you. Taryn said, don't ignore me, yo. Where did you come <laughs> from? I don't know, but she can keep scratching my arm as long as she... Oh, uh, well, this is the uh, the girl that used up all my... Uh, my gloves. Go stand in front of the camera. I didn't do that. Come on, no, 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 she needs to cut her hair first. <laughs> oh, that's why we wanted her on camera. But well, you made me go in front of the camera, oh, and I didn't comb my hair much this morning. Yeah, well, you're hey, I got like you hers. something special. Go look in the freezer. <laughs> well, all right, so look, we're going to do up a few of treats. these. Yeah, make sure they don't eat all that fruit. No, no, they ain't. Right. I'll make a chili, too. So, for those of you <clears throat> who are new to the feed, um, I've never done this dish before, ever. So, so far, it kind of shows you how easy it is. <laughs> All right. It don't matter. <laughs> She'll be in heaven and call back later. <laughs> That's your breakfast. It's a Baskin Robbins mint chocolate chip filled cooked chocolate cookies. <laughs> Ice cream. So, um, it's been so long. For those of you who don't know, I have six daughters. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Right. No, I love them all. Most of the time. <laughs> all right, we'll do one more. Um, Vincent wants to know if the size of the chunks on the skewers matter, and for this dish, it does kind of. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like bigger chunks anyway. So, I mean, you can kind of see, those were Roma tomatoes, and I quartered them long ways. And then the onions, I, um, when I quartered the onion, I took out the inside and then I chopped the outside because it's bigger. I chopped that again, if that makes any sense. And then the cheese, I just did squares. It's a halloumi cheese. 
So halloumi cheese does not melt, in case you don't know. <laughs> Harvey said now he knows why you need some, some uh, Bloody Marys or maybe something even stronger. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea, man. <laughs> the pain I go through. All right. All right. We're almost done with the third one. That's all I'm doing. Thanks, Just Phil. Tree. Tree of them. Phil said, great show, guys. Thanks, man. Again, if you have not shared the feed, share it, please. Pretty please. <laughs> Don't beg. With nice. skewered <laughs> vegetables on top. <clears throat> Here, I'm going to do this. We only have one more. Right. Just bear with me, guys. And uh, see a lot of cheese that ain't on that skewer. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Well, I'm doing it all even. <laughs> I know. Uh, the it's a halloumi cheese. Don't Richard. Skew around. <laughs> H a l l o u m i, and it is um. Skew you. It's a it's a yeah, great right, cheese for grilling. It doesn't <laughs> melt, and so it's great for grilling. Use it in different recipes or just grill it with some uh, fruit and vegetables. It's really good. Right. It's a great grilling cheese. Yeah. The veggies <clears throat> are in the marinade right now. And that's the marinade you're going to use to drizzle over the salad at the end. Yeah. Since we use this on vegetables, we're going to reuse some of this marinade. Um, it was used on meat. So here's the thing. So everybody Welcome. thinks that whenever you marinate uh, meat... When you marinate meat, you have to throw that marinade away. Uh, you do not. If you take that marinade after it's been in the meat and you throw it in a pot on your grill or the stove or whatever, and you boil it for like five, 10 minutes, that kills anything. So you can reuse that marinade as a drizzle or something like that. Ezra Edward said he Peace and tip. his fiance have six girls and he feels your pain. <laughs> <laughs> Do they range from 11 to 33? That is the question. <laughs> yeah, so, right. So, my oldest is 33, and uh, she will be, oh, wait, she's 33 this month. Wait, her actually, she just turned, turned 33. 30, yeah. Her birthday was just the other day. I'm kind of an honorary daughter now. All right. She oh, is. no. No, you make number seven then. Yep. Oh. And I'm 33. So, All right. Twins. Okay. They're twins. <laughs> so, this is kind of what I tell people. I mean, I'm surrounded by um, women all That's day, every favorite. day. Um, he anything, loves it. Anything can happen. So, <laughs> what I tell people is be careful what you wish for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know when you're 16 and you say, I want... <laughs> you might even say, I want a, I want a harem. <laughs> no, you um, don't. <laughs> his are, his no, are, you don't. Hey, his are 5 through 28, so he's in there. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, you got a five-year-old. I feel bad for yeah, you. Yeah, but his oldest is 28, so right, oh, okay, when they, yeah, they could so be right, right in the same, same range, yeah. yeah. And I have a grandson and a granddaughter. Now, my, my granddaughter is 13. 14. 14. She just turned 14, and my grandson is about to turn three. You need to get yeah. the ages right. Finally got He's a boy gonna... in, in the mix here. Right. All right, so look. So let's... Um... Oh, right, so Gary, us too. Right. Female dog, right, female well. cats. I wish we had somebody could open up some wine. I'm so, I'm Riley, can you go open a bottle of no, wine? She can't. <laughs> yeah, actually, no, she no, can't. No, no, <laughs> no. Uh, I can open it. All right, you know, the, uh, Mexico, the yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put our needle on the grill. Yep, let's do it. And then you can open a bottle of wine. All if right, that's what he's trying to say. I know. <laughs> Dude, come over here. Oh, I smell it. I don't it have smells it. smells good. It smells Holy so good. Shit. I want to see it when it opens. Puff, I want that big whiff of oh smell. My God. I wish you guys could smell this. It is the most amazing smell. It really and then, is. And the so simple ingredients, too. I think it's because I chopped the onions instead <laughs> Are of Are you going to open it? I going to go to the grill. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're not going to eat? Oh, my God. Don't worry. That will happen. Dude. Oh my God, that smells so. I'm glad good. I seared them off. Yeah, no, good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Dude, I think they're about ready to come off. Look, I'm about my coals are freaking. Get that, get that on. What do those have to stay on about 15 minutes? I hope not. Oh, 
Rich Newland wants to know how old he is, and the answer would be half a century. I prefer <coughs> that to 50. I Sounds am, uh, older. No, he's 22. <laughs> I am now, in my head, I'm 25. I'm but my body is 50. <laughs> I'm 18 with 32 years of experience. That, I read that the other day, and I liked it. So I'm taking it. <laughs> <laughs> So for anybody who um, is just coming on, here, let me go and cover this up. Go ahead. See how long it is. I think they got about 10 or 15 minutes, right? Yeah, well, however long it takes. Cooking and grilling is not about time. It's about when it's done, right? So look, let me show you this. In case you don't know, I, um, I actually grilled the zucchini on here. Pat Wright right. wants to know what the clips on the skewers are for, and really it's just for handling, right? Yeah, right. They're just, they're, here, let me show you all these. They're, they're really just handles. That's it. Just give you something to grab onto, right? So make sure that after you put them in the heat, that, you know, use gloves. Because it's going to be hot. All right, so look, we need to, um. Do a baba ganoush? We need to do a baba ganoush. Hey, um, Ace, can yes. you grab that medium-sized cutting board? Right beside all my other buttons. <laughs> right. Kind of easy. The medium size. All right, so we are going to make a baba ganoush. Thank you very much. <laughs> I want to know. So we have, believe it or not, this was three pounds of zucchini. Or at least and it looked like. And that's what happens when it drains. And that's what happens when you uh, grill it, gut it. And drain it. So that's all the liquid that came out of it, right? So that's why it's very important that you let this drain for a while. At least 15 so, minutes. So, <clears throat> all right, so here we go. Nice. All right, hustle, Wendy. Come on, girl. <laughs> if you don't do that, People just poke around, and every, anybody who knows me, I'm, I'm always telling people to hustle all the time. An avid clapper. Because I hustle all the time, yeah. so I expect that from everybody. Dad, it's your excuse to clap. I'm really kind of half playing. Nice pit boss. Sean has the same one, and he loves it. Yeah, you know, I got that. Um, I got that a uh, couple months ago, and I, I do. I like it. I haven't cooked a lot of stuff on it. All right, so look, it's uh, two tablespoons of lemon, which is about a half a lemon. About. I got. I got the David glass. Oh. All right. Y'all want to see my pouring skills? No. Oh, <laughs> well, there's two different size glasses, so it's not gonna come out of that. I love thing. lemons. <laughs> mm. Man. All right. So we have. I'm doing this because of the seeds. I don't want seeds in this. Right. So now we want a tablespoon tahini. I assume that's the way it's yep, pronounced. Yep, tahini. Uh, here, let me uh, mix this up. So this is tahini paste. Okay. Let me check. How's it looking? It looks really good. Look at that. See, so whenever you grill vegetables, you want to get the char on them. The char is where the flavor is. Okay? Uh-oh. We got some cheese trying to fall, trying to escape. Oh, no. Right. I'm thinking we're ready to take these off. Churchill, what you plowing? Oh, mama. Oh. <laughs> He's got jokes today. Oh no, can't help it. Whatever comes to that head. All right. So we're gonna let these rest off a little bit. There we go. 
Oh, you're Over plowing this? snow. <laughs> I know, That's it's kind of hard to believe that Dude. snow is... Uh, well, it's February. I know, but here it's... 75 degrees. It's like 70 degrees or something. Yeah. Alright, so look. I just want to mix this up real good. And we do one tablespoon. That was a clean skewer, I hope. Yeah, it was clean. <laughs> You have a, yeah, you have a spoon. All right. So. So if anybody doesn't know what tahini is, it's a paste made out of sesame seeds. And you can find it around your um, olives, your specialty olives. And One tablespoon. Like that. That's it. I would have. What? I guess it doesn't matter. I was going to say, you want to put the zucchini in? Eh, it doesn't matter. All right, and then we're doing, um, this is a half a clove of garlic. So we throw about that much in there. And then we got uh, salt, pepper. Okay, so the olive oil doesn't go in there? No, you drizzle with the olive oil. Afterwards. Correct. Yeah, okay, right. All right, and then just salt and pepper. And of course, Ah. Russell Nutt said he sees the impalers are good as star sticks also. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we utilize everything to the full. Okay. So four weapons, right, Pat? <laughs> okay. Do you want the olive oil on the bottle so you can drizzle? Yeah. Hey, Ryder, grab the olive oil bottle. i got to figure out what I'm putting this in, too. Um, you don't want a, a bowl? Well, I was thinking about doing it on the plate, right? And putting it on there and drilling around. Right? Well, you could. But they'd, yeah, if you poke, push a little hole in the middle of it and gotcha. drizzle. Yep. Which one's an olive? It's all in here. Um, This one is olive. Okay. Thank right. you. So. Oh, don't get me yeah. in it. No. <laughs> olive oil. <is> <laughs> That's all you need. That's all I need. Okay, so, um, Riley, there's a couple plates sitting on the ottoman. Bring those. Come on. You ain't got time to sit down. You don't sit down on Sunday morning. The platter's on, right, right. We work us on Sunday morning. Right. Everybody's working. All right, and then we got some pita bread. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. The pita yeah, bread. I am, actually. This is like, uh, do you need, uh, you got a clean thing to cut it and then you want a plate for it? I'm cut it right here. Okay. Do you want a plate? No. No. No, they're on the ottoman in the uh, living room. The platters, they're platters. All right, so we're going to grill these up. We'll come over here. And look, this sure, thing is freaking hot. I can only do a couple at a three at a time. No, I'm going to do two at a time. Yeah, because nobody wants cold pita bread. Mm. That. I think everything's going to be wrapping up right at the same time. Uh, there's nothing on the What'd you do with them all? Oh, you brought them outside. They're right there. Oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot when we were going. No, this is a dark color. No, this is a bright color. I forgot that right here. Yum. Look at that puffing up. Put that thing down. You gotta pop it. <laughs> pop it. Okay, unbelievable. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> no, I'm not. So, um, 
It does a way done. Is um that's a little is, yeah, is Hash Man on here? He is or he was earlier. Is Jennifer on here? Jennifer was on here earlier. I'm I don't I'm assuming they're still on. Y'all still on? Hash man, Jennifer. David's about to let's see what he's No, see. I, I haven't talked to him. Do a few rows. Let's see. Those should almost be done, huh? What's sticking? Cheese. Some cheese. Mmm. Oh no. Lost right, here, one. Get that spatula. Lost one to the cause. It's still on the grill, so it technically is not lost. Oh yeah, beautiful. It's almost too much. Yeah, it's a bit more charm. All right, so let's throw them all over here. Get them off the heat. Get a piece of cheese. Okay. All right. Holy shit, uh -oh. you're burning up everything. Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. Getting all distracted with one burning thing. That is a pita death right there. <laughs> death. Right. <laughs> death right. Bob Barrel. Right, up. right over here. One, two, right there. Daryl McLean is on the air. These are not like all lost. No, you can cut a half of that one yeah. anyway. You can still use it. Right. Everything is close to completion and I can taste it. I have to do the lettuce. All right, that'll be quick. Yeah. Mm, that looks like standing. See, I gotta step in sometimes. I just save those pitas with Did my you? bare hands. Yes. Good going, girl. Mm -hmm. Good going. Mm -hmm. I ain't scared. Fair enough, dude. <laughs> Morning, Andrew Knox. Well, Andrew, you just actually coming in at a good time because everything's almost done. <laughs> we'll be plating it up. These are casualties. <laughs> I'd say that one's a total loss. That one is not bad. I could eat that. Mm. Pat Wright said if you put some olive oil on the pitas, they do better on the grill. Hmm. Never tried that. It's a good idea. It is a good olive idea. oil seems to be the solution to the all solution sticking to problems. Life. I think those pitas can come off. Yeah, I do too. I throw the uh You want to, Raleigh? Can you come clear some of this stuff off, please? That's good. Okay. You sure? Okay, we are getting close. Yes. I don't know why I just put it in my mouth. <laughs> I don't know why Wendy's behind the camera putting stuff in her mouth. Yeah. Well, an accident, and I realized, oh, <laughs> what did I touch? That could have been raw meat. I just wanted meat. to explain that for everybody who heard you go, oh, what did I just put? <laughs> what did I just put in my mouth? I don't even know why I did it. I like moose stuff. And I'm not even sure what kind of share this is sometimes. 
Actually, well, I need a hundred people are watching, so somebody likes it. Mm. Nice, right? <laughs> All right, so um, can you grab um, a plate? Actually, the other that little cutting board. You just need that one, please. Yeah. Oh my God! What did I do? All right, we gotta. I just want to throw these on it. <laughs> like Vanna White. <laughs> Vanna White. <laughs> Showing a letter. Oh, and I need. Rich um, Newland wants to know where you got the cutting boards. Amazon. But we're actually going to come out with our own cutting boards. So, so hang tight. Stay tuned and hang tight. <laughs> Don't go buy no cutting boards. Yeah. We're going to hook you up with a really good cutting board. It's just. Uh, Trying to find the right one. Right. Trying to find the right manufacturer is the thing. Okay. So um, we're actually coming out with a ton of stuff this year. We're coming out with a meat hook. We already, I had the prototype. I don't want to show anybody because as soon as I show, people are going to want to buy and we're not ready yet. So I don't even want to show it. I used it last. This thing even helps you. you it's so precise you can flip bacon with it. Or you can flip a tri-tip. You can flip anything. It's, it's perfect. Flip Good up. name, Chaz. Chaz said, woohoo, beast boards. That's right, beast boards. And Thanks, Chaz. <laughs> we, we are, I know I've been talking about this for a couple of years, but we are about to do um, seasonings, rubs, marinades. So we're actually probably going to do a contest that um, to, to help us come up with the names for, for, the, for the rubs and the marinades. Because we have a beast injector and um, you know what I need? You need somebody to fill out olive oil. You gotta be careful because the last time I put olive oil on a leafy substance, I caught the grill on fire. <laughs> Good idea. I don't know what I do. Things so, happen. Right, shit happens. Let me do it on the other side. Um, I think you only. No, I'm doing both sides. Okay. You the beast. You say that often. <laughs> oh my God, people are going to start logging off. <laughs> like, it's getting right. weird. Right. It just gets weirder and weirder. <laughs> ah, Jared Hogan said beast blood marinade. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. That's kind of cool. Rick right, so said he'll be a me, tester. Um, if you need to salt? test those seasonings. Uh, right there. Okay. Now I need help. Hold on. You want the Morton salt, girl? <laughs> oh, salt. Sorry, I'm almost out of peppercorn, so... I want to save that for what I need it for on the end. Uh, do that. Put this back over. Massage it gently. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> you guys are like freaking. I'm not related to any of that. <laughs> Be quiet! I'll put you back on camera. <laughs> <laughs> right. You can't sink low enough. I'll find you. All right. So. Except when you are related to beautiful and great. <laughs> That's right. All right. So here we go. We're about to grill some some romaine lettuce. I'm feeling a special way to do it. Yeah. No, we Patty. We have a pepper grinder. We're out of peppercorn. No, I have like a <laughs> tiny bit, and I need it for the end. Yeah. Okay, so. How did we run out of vodka and peppercorn on the same day, you ask? We don't know. It's a mystery. Somebody. Somebody? Go to the grocery store. Right. Somebody's been lacking around here. Who? You? Somebody named Dave. It actually is me. I'm the one that <laughs> No doubt about it. All right. Okay. Where's my tongs? Throw them on.
<laughs> Harvey, Harvey, is it Pinder? Said, Dave was a little unprepared today. Almost out of olive oil, peppercorn gone, and no Bloody Marys. What's the world coming to? <laughs> but it's, it's getting done. It's still getting done. We're it's working around it. Right, Pat, it wasn't on the list. Somebody didn't make the list. Right. Go. Yeah. Right. Woo! Gonna be quick. Oh, yeah. And this is the last step to a plated meal, y'all. Yeah. You're on camera. No, wait, what? <laughs> Fine, I'm not you. <laughs> yeah, you are. No, Didn't you just eat that mint chocolate chip there? I love you. Covered it up for a split right. second. <laughs> Man, I, I just want to eat these things. Ah, yum. I can get a piece of cheese. Mmm. Yeah, it fell off, huh? Mm hmm. Wow. Oh, that's good. That is so good. <laughs> well, I want to eat it. You want Here. a piece of cheese? Try that. First, you have to say, halloumi. Um, <laughs> that's right. Good. Try it's got, really good. We've got some leaves falling apart here. Do it. Okay. No. All right. I'm with you, Raleigh. I'm also the texture person. Well, I do sometimes. I don't like shrimp and pasta because of the texture, but I like fried shrimp. I like shrimp in anything. Mm. I don't give a shit. Pat Wright said use toothpicks. Mm. Oh, to hold this together? Yeah, maybe. Good idea. Where were you 20 minutes ago? <laughs> He's like, I didn't know you were going to screw it up, Dave. Right. It's only one one thing. Yeah, it's only apart. one of them. It's only one and of them. And it's still gonna be good. It's all getting cut up anyway. Yeah, I'm trying to stack it. All right. I think this is really yeah. pretty much done. Yep. Where you put them? How do we want to cut these stuff? Or just like chop it, you know, like a salad. Yeah, I guess. All right. So they're not meatballs, Mario. They are kofta shaped in the form of meatballs. They are kofta balls. We're going to post the ingredients um, on a blog afterwards. They are kofta balls. But And also, it's in the live feed as well, if you want to. Yeah, we kind of need some space. Yeah, that's what I said. Do you want us to clear off some stuff? Wait, let us clear off some okay, of this stuff. All right. Yeah, since this doesn't look appetizing. What about this one? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Put a salad. For all of them. I would we'll put it all together. Um, you, I did it. Do it on there. You don't have to cut it all up right now. Okay. Hey, Lucas. All right. Lucas, did you leave and come back? Yeah? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Pat Wright said, and here comes the presentation. Ta-da. You know, like my grandson. Everything he does, he's like, ta-da. <laughs> this is the presentation, y'all. This is what you've all been waiting for. This is what you've been waiting for. Don't forget the olives in your presentation. All right, so we do that, all right? Yep. Get one that didn't lose cheese. Mm -hmm. I was saying get one that didn't lose cheese. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not looking quite as nice as I want. Okay. 
You could probably you know. You putting the whole salad in there? Nope. Well, yeah. Okay, that so that's there. gonna be the salad plate. No, and then I'm putting the um, putting this right here. Putting that right here. I almost feel like putting some of this baba ganoush over everything. No, that's not how baba ganoush works. You can feel like it, but that, that is not. Okay, we got that. I feel like I should put in that other bowl now. But it's too late. Just do the baba ganoush in a bowl with the peat on the side. That doesn't go together. What about that one of those bowls I brought in there? Too big. Mm, all right, then doing that. Thank you, Harvey. Harvey said it's looking good coming together. Russell Nutt said it looks great. Phil Gamboa said last week's trip helped you with your plating, apparently. What was last week's trip? Do you trip? want to bring it over to the flat thing and, and over there to kind of put it together? You know. I guess we should think we should put this one there, in here. Yeah, go ahead. That's cool. Okay. Well, I'm using some of those pictures on Instagram and I will tag y'all, but yeah. I'm using them. Vicky said had that looks awesome. On that. Mm -mm, you don't need to. Oh, don't forget to drizzle the um, salad. We have salad. Oh, right. See all that green stuff and on vegetables? Here? Mm hmm. Just drizzle. How about put some on the balls? No. Please stop trying to do that. <laughs> it's determined. They just look dry. I know. Well, they're not. They're supposed to look dry. All right. How's that? That looks good. That's good. Bring it over here, and we'll we'll show the whole plating, and What's and also we will partake. Get rid of those um those unsightly lock ones over there. That half of one is okay. <laughs> Could you flip that one because it's upside down and it's blocking it? Which one? The one over there. Oh, go ahead and flip it. All right, I know that's not a quite pro presentation yet, but it's better than the first one, right? Or yeah. No? Yes. I'll tell you that. It looks delicious. Right. I need to get it from the other side. I want to taste the ball. Amen. Thank you, Mark. I'm always the last one because I'm on the camera. Mark told me to get after it. <clears throat> I am. Oh, he met you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Riley, go get me a fork real quick. You just texted me. Or go get me a fork. Yeah, okay. Grab a fork. Hustle up. Come on. Hustle All right. Up. Last time I checked, I'm not your maid. Uh, Nor will I be treated like one. Good. Good? Yep. Can I have a bite? <laughs> I'm going to scoop it in the... We really should have made the tzatziki sauce to go with it. But, so if y'all make this, do the tzatziki sauce for the kofta. Mm. Mark, David cannot help himself. He said ladies first, David, but Maybe that never happens. Now, it happens all the time, <laughs> except now. 
<laughs> during the show, it doesn't happen. But all through I want to try the baba ganoush. Can you dip me a piece? Yeah. <clears throat> It's a lot of baba ganoush on there. How about that? Cool. Can we explain why they would name something baba ganoush? <laughs> Look up the meaning. How about that? That's what Google's for. Oh my god. That is really good. Get some ace. Mmm. Hey, what's baba ganoush? Yeah, I wish we would have the sauce for the balls. Yeah, me too. That's the only okay. thing. Check it out. It brought up killer balls. Then they might be a little bit overcooked. Good. Yeah, they're a little overcooked, but right, they're a little dry. The onions are perfect. So. <laughs> but the, the onions, onions are perfect, are perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? right? The baba ganoush is really the good. cheese. I already had a piece of that. That was really good. Yep. That is we good. stole a piece earlier. The piece that fell off. The sacrifice piece. Yeah, part of it's in the grass right there. What? <laughs> oh my God! Mm -hmm. Is it good? It's very good. Okay. All right. Well, you need to kind of see oh. the eating hour. <laughs> it's like going to finish off the plate. <clears throat> One more thing. Hold on. Then we'll wrap it up. <laughs> Sorry. I'm starving. No, the baba ganoush is really good. For Phil Camboa said chew, David. Chew. Mm. <laughs> that is really good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's incredibly good. <clears throat> All right. Brian Reeves said he's still waiting for his awesome grilled beef shirt. David. So. <laughs> Pat loaded all that into the system last Swallow week. your food first. <clears throat> We don't have all that time. Take a sip. You... Pat put it all in the system last week. And um, I'm actually going away this week. But the week after, we should get all that free stuff shipped out. <clears throat> so we haven't forgotten. We got like 30 people that were sending t-shirts, hats, and aprons to. So if you were on that list and you haven't gotten it, it's coming. It's just, it's a slow process, you know. For the free stuff that's all so anyway any questions about anything any questions anybody otherwise did, did you enjoy the show <laughs> did you learn and did something? everybody share um if you did not share yet please share now um we have a big mess to clean up and a lot of food to eat and so i, um, I don't know if y'all got the ingredients for the final round of the chop challenge but right. it's going to be an interesting yeah, so okay. I know, um, Thanks, I know, Chad. um, so what are the ingredients again? Um, chuck roast. Chuck roast. Um, Chad, you're on here. What's the ingredients? <laughs> chuck roast, peanut butter, coriander seeds, beets, and basmati rice. Whoo, just right. all came to me just like that. <laughs> what she said. So, um, what the heck? Anyway, um, uh, so this was my version of the chop challenge from a couple weeks ago. Um, but to be honest, I think the winners did, did a better, better job than us. They did way better than I did. Um, I think everything turned out great. I overcooked my um, kafta. my kafta balls just a wee bit. So if they had some sauce, it would make up for that. But they're not going to waste. We're eating them. Oh, oh hell yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So in another week. Um, Thanks, Russell. Right. So the, the dishes have to be turned in in one more week. Right. Next Friday, not this next Friday. Sat, next Sunday. Is it Sunday? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, that's right. We, we gave two, two full, full weekends. Because uh, chuck roast and peanut butter might be a hard combination. Might to be, right. You can't just take <laughs> chuck roast and put peanut butter on Right. <laughs> and it's very important. Okay. It's the end result that really counts. The process we need to see so we see that you actually did it. But that's the, the entertainment part is not as important as the end result part. That is very important for both people to know. Okay? And we're not judging this. I'm going to have somebody else judge it. Hopefully um, Gavin. 
I haven't asked him yet, so. I think he'll do I'll it. I'll ask him. Yeah. yeah, I think he'll do it. Yeah, I think he'll so, do it. Yeah, I think, I think so he'll too. be happy cool to do dude. it. Um, Can I do it? And that's really pretty much it. I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Um, Sorry we went over a little bit, but thanks for I sticking it, with it. I hope it was entertaining. <laughs> was I entertaining? Yes, you were. Is there mm -hmm. a movie that does that? Mm -hmm. Did I entertain you? I don't know, you? but my shoulders are starting yeah. to hurt because I There's don't have to hold two guys times. goes, did I entertain you? Something like that. <laughs> anyway. Um, thanks, Chaz. Thanks a lot for uh, coming on. And... Um, Next Sunday, there will be, I don't think there's, there's going to be a show. Hang your head. Pat is out of town. I'm out of town. Unless we can get one of the admins to fill in. Or me and Ace might just throw a show together. You don't know. That's <laughs> any, scary. Any admin that would like to host, guest host Feast with the Beast next weekend, shoot us an email. You're right. Let get in touch. Know. And then um, uh, maybe we can work it out and you can do it. And uh, if not, I hate missing a show. Mm -hmm. I really do. But anyway, peace out. I'm starting to ramble, and that means it's time to go. Anyway, um, see you all later. Peace.